Let's see how can uh, delete a style we have uh, previously created. We go to the Styles pane. Here's our style, test for you. We click on the arrow on the right and click on Delete. We confirm and we have deleted it. We can create a paragraph style based on uh, a paragraph we have selected. For example, in the current document, we select the paragraph title, go to the style Spain, click on New Style, set a name for the new style. All the other settings have been uh, migrated from uh, the paragraph we have selected. We we'll click on OK and our style has been created. Let's see how we can rename a style. In the current document, we have created a style. We go to the style Spain, select the style info learn and click on modify style. Here we can change the name to the one we want and click on OK. Our style has been renamed. Let's see how we can create a new character style. In the current document, we open the Styles pane, click on New Style, type a name for our new style, select the style type, we change it from paragraph to character, change the font of our new style, Let's say we change it to Arial. We change the size to 13 points and select it to be bold. We click on OK and the style has been created. Let's create a new style and apply it to a paragraph. In the current document, we open the Styles pane, click on New Style, type a name for the style, change uh, the font to Arial, we change it to Bold, We change the color to blue. And now we can change some paragraph uh, settings. We click on the format uh, arrow. Get this up. And click on paragraph. The paragraph window opened. We change the first line in the edition to point to 5 inches. We click on OK. OK again. And apply this new style to the first bulleted paragraph. Let's see how we can modify a style we have already created. We click on the Styles pane and the arrow next to Search for You Style and Modify. We want to change the font to Tahoma, alignment to Justified. And then, from the arrow next to the Format button, we go to the Borders option. And from there, we change the borders to one point, black. Like, 
and box style border. Click on OK. OK again. And then we apply this uh, style to this paragraph. Using Word, you can easily copy styles from one document to another. We go to the Tools menu, Templates and Add-ins option, click on the Organizer button, and here is the style available in our document, InfoLearn. We open another file for the document. Let's say this one, my template. So we can select from the left column our style InfoLearn and copy it to our other file, my template .x. Here it is. Save the changes and we have copied the style from one document to another. Let's see how we can insert the file as object but display it as an icon. We click on the Insert tab of the ribbon, click on the Object button, select Object, click on Display as icon, and click the button from File. There we choose the, our file, which is exercise.xlsx, and the file has been inserted as icon. Word is very capable in comparing documents. Let's see how. We click on the Review tab, click on the Compare button and select Compare Documents. We select the original document. Then the revised document. We click on OK. And here is the compare document. On the right, the balloon comments show us the changes from one to another. We save this document with the changes to a new document, so we can study them in more detail. Let's see how we can select all paragraphs with the same style and remove their formatting. We right-click on the style we want, for example Heading 3, and then select All Instances. We then click on the Clear All Formatting button, and it is done. We can insert the document's content as a link to another document. Let's see how. We have an open document. We click on the Insert tab of the ribbon. We click on Object. From File. Select another document file. We select our other file. And the text has been inserted as link, which means that the change in the link document will automatically show on this one. The discrimination that Mac users have been facing by Microsoft Office Tutors is over. The brand new Test for You in Application Training System has arrived to let all Mac users use their installed software to learn how to use their Microsoft Office for Mac. With Test for You, you get innovative, interactive training, instant feedback by our advanced grading engine, assistant video solutions, but above all, you get the chance to harness the power of your Apple Mac PC and get the most out of your Microsoft Office for Mac. Available for Word, Excel and PowerPoint for basic and advanced levels. Compatible with Mac OS Catalina or newer and with Microsoft Office 2019 or newer. 
Fully compatible with Mac PCs powered by the M1 and M2 Apple Silicon 